this house is super chill. It's an Antipolo. You have 600 square meters of floor area and 800 square meters of lot area. And it includes, ooh, hear that? That is the wind because it is so windy up here. So this whole house includes five bedrooms, eight toilet and baths, a six vehicle carport, or driveway rather, and a swimming pool, and lots of places where you can entertain your family and friends. Can't wait to show you guys around. This is a resort-like home and it is beautiful. Oh wow, so today we'll be going around this beautiful resort-like home here in Beverly Hills Antipolo. Just look at that facade. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Precello underscore official. My name is Julia. And welcome to another pre-solo open house tour. So over here you have the gate, right? As you can see, you have a massive black gate with vertical lines over here. And then your, uh, the facade, or rather the front wall has horizontal black lines. So you have a lot of lines to look at and it all leads to the beautiful greenery outside and inside the home. You'll see in a bit. So through your pedestrian gate, we have here a spacious driveway. Actually here, depending on how you slot your cars, you can fit about six vehicles, as well as in front of your gate. By the way, here you have a manual gate, but it's up to you. Maybe in the future, you can turn it into an automatic one. Okay, now I said this sort like earlier because check out your main entrance. Isn't that a beaut? So you have this walkway over here that leads to your main door. And then you have plants all around you on either side. And you have a pond under the bridge or the walkway. And you can see it on either side. And guess what? You can also see it inside. You have double doors over here. The walkway is covered and on the floor you have some lines that also let you peek through and see your pond. And when you open your door, you can also see the pond right as you enter. That is super cool. Now here on the ground floor you have open space where you can see your main stairs, your living area, your dining, and then a section of your kitchen which is nicely compartmentalized in that area. Check this out. This is your kitchen. I love the vertical slats over here because it perfectly frames your kitchen as well as the bar so you can have some seats under here and entertain your guests and family from the kitchen while they're here in the dining area. And you might be wondering, so how do you get to the kitchen? Well, glad you asked. You have a secret door over here. And that's how you get to the kitchen, which has a lot of space. You have an island counter over here. And basically, uh, counter space everywhere apart from this section, which has your storage as well as your refrigerator. Now over to the left side, you have a door that will lead you to the side of the house. And surprise, surprise, it does not lead to a daily kitchen. That is elsewhere. Let me close this door. And now that you can see this entire area from this perspective, it's nice and airy, right? Because this entire side is filled with glass or sliding glass panels. So they are sliding doors and they also act as windows because they let in so much natural light. It's beautiful. Oh, and speaking of beautiful, you have accents on the ceiling. The dining and the living areas are lowered, but the central portion is high ceiling, and you can see the second floor. Okay, and before we head to the second floor, let's head out. Over here, we have a lanai. 
and this is where you and your family can hang out, do some karaoke even. We have a view of the swimming pool and the rest of the backyard. What I also really, really like about this area is that you have a vertical wall over here and it just livens up the place. Comment down below if this is something you would want in your own home because I certainly would want one. And on the opposite side, we have a game area of sorts. Hi, hello po! <laughs> okay <lang. laughs> Now this is also a pavilion and they used it as a bar and outdoor dining area. It also serves as the daily kitchen. Isn't it super nice? It's super chill. You have your um, ceiling fan over there. It's nice and breezy. Again, this is Antipolo after all. And again, you have a view of the rest of your backyard. And they're currently cleaning the pool. <laughs> Hello, Paul. What happened? And you just look at that swimming pool. It's nice and blue and very clear. You have the majority of the pool that you can see over here in the front. And then at the back over there, you have a jacuzzi. And if you're wondering, again, where's the shower? Because usually there's a shower area whenever there's a pool, right? Well, of course. There's a shower area. The best part, it doesn't have just one shower. We actually have a shower room with a toilet. And you have another shower room over here. So you have two. And then you have two sinks right in the middle. And then this just goes all around the way to the side of the house and back out to the six vehicle carport. Excuse me. And now that you have a view of this, isn't it beautiful? The house itself is beautiful. You have some seating over here just to admire your swimming pool and just chill out with family and friends. Super nice. Oh, and speaking of seating, in case you missed it, because I certainly did earlier, you have a swing. How often do you find a house with a nice swing like this in a breezy location? It's a perfect place to have a swing. Okay, so let's go back inside. So here in this high uh, ceiling area, you have a chandelier. And again, you have a view of the second floor where you will notice that you have beautiful contrast. You have white or flat white paint. You have cement-like finishes. You have matte black and then you have wood. Super calming to look at because it's so cohesive. Speaking of cohesive, so you have the vertical slats by the kitchen. It's the same color as your main door. And then you have some over here. There is a door here somewhere. It's going to lead you to bedroom number one. And it's nice because it's on the ground floor. So it can be a granny room, a guest bedroom or an office. It's up to you. And then a few steps down, you have access to the guest toilet and bath with a sink, toilet, and shower area. Under the stairs, you also have storage, of course. So now let's head up these steps, which, by the way, are solid wood and they look really nice. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe because we see you watching our videos and we super appreciate it. And it, we would also appreciate a bit of help by you liking because it lets us know that this is the kind of video that you like watching. So we'll keep making more of this. Okay, so you have over here a fixed window or a picture window where it's just a plane of glass and you can see the view and you can let the light basically flow into this entire area. And also, since you see a lot of negative space, it's really, really artsy to put just a pot of plant and liven the place up and still maintain that negative space. Okay, so here on the second floor, you have several rooms. And we'll check out this one first. So you have an, op an open hallway that will lead you to bedroom number two, technically. And this is the primary bedroom. So you have a lot of space. Base. Three of the walls are white. This one is an accent wall. That's where the TV is mounted. And then on this side, 
you have oops the wind is pretty strong <laughs> you have here your sliding doors that lead to the balcony with a view of the swimming pool and then opposite side of the balcony <laughs> sorry <laughs> we have here a walk-in closet so you have a lot of space you have a vanity over here and then over here you have the ensuite toilet and bath with your sink, a uh, water closet or toilet, and then your shower space, which by the way is quite massive, spacious. <laughs> okay. All right, so again, you have a different view of the second floor and it's nice and airy thanks to all of the windows. So you have the window, you have clerestory windows over here, or rather fixed windows. So there's no way for you to get to those windows from where you're, from where I'm standing over here, but you can get it from the outside. And then on this side, you still have more windows. So it's just lots of light flooding in. Okay, so at the end of this hallway, we have two doors, but we're gonna go through this one. And this is bedroom number three. And again, you have lots of space. Ooh, the curtains are billowing. Because again, you do have lots of uh, pleasant breeze coming through. This is again Antipolo. And just to prove that point, look at that. Your view is just greenery, apart from your backyard again with the pool. So from this bedroom, you can go out to this balcony and it's very spacious. It's a lengthy balcony. And this is the window that I was talking about earlier. So you can actually at least be able to maintain the windows to keep it clean and everything, right? And again, chill out here. Just enjoy your backyard and enjoy the view. All right. Of course, this bedroom, actually every bedroom has an ensuite toilet and bath. This one also has a walk-in closet with a vanity. And then this is the actual toilet and bath with your sink, toilet, and shower space. And take note that even the toilet and bath has high ceiling. All right, so that is the second floor. You still have two doors over here for a total of five bedrooms. But that being said, let us now uh, head downstairs for the recap. Five bedrooms, all with an ensuite toilet and bath. And speaking of, you do have eight toilet and baths. You have a six vehicle carport, 600 square meters of floor area, and 800 square meters of lot area. You have two stories. All of them have a beautiful view of the sky and the surroundings. And then of course, on the second floor, you have a view of Antipolo. And that being said, it is very nice and breezy in here, which again, is in Beverly Hills. Antipolo. So if you or anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. <laughs> hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> I know. I know.